Hi, I'm Janine. I'm with the City of Surprise, and welcome to another episode of Snacks with Surprise. I'm here today with Senior Director of Research for IEDC, the International Economic Development Council, Louise Anderson. Louise, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. Thanks, Janine. Thanks so much for having me. And Louise, your snack, um, I understand, is smart food. Is that your favorite snack? Yes. Yes, I can eat it by the large bag. So thanks for getting some today. Oh, you bet. I can't wait to enjoy it. I'll be I'll be digging into it. Maybe I'll share with my colleagues if they're lucky. <laughs> well, thank you. So you've been with IEDC for over 20 years. You've seen so many changes with the organization. You've seen a lot of changes in economic development, and you've been leading um, the research behind the Economic Development Research Partnership, the EDRP committee, um, since its inception. Maybe if you could talk a little bit about the newest research paper that's coming out, the newest white paper. Um, I believe it's called Live, Work, Play. Is that correct? That's, that's right. Uh, a little a little tongue in cheek there. Uh, Live, Work, Play, Attracting and Retaining Tomorrow's Talent is the full title of the paper. And we called it that because, you know, Live, Work and Play is a framework that a lot of communities use to um, for marketing themselves, for showing uh, that they're a place where people can have a good quality of life. And and those are sort of the three main elements of, uh, of a great quality of life. So. Um, our EDRP group has uh, chosen, been very interested in workforce uh, issues recently because that's a, a main economic development challenge. So this is the third of three workforce development papers or talent, talent related papers that we have been working on over the last year. And so this paper really looks at the young workers of today and, and tomorrow. So that's essentially sort of Gen Z and millennials who currently comprise about half of the workforce. So asking what are they looking for in a community and from employers, because, you know, it's a very different, um, it's a very different scene for them than it has been for previous generations. You know, now that remote work is so widely accepted, it's about 28% of uh, full paid working days today are remote. And so with the widespread acceptance of remote work, uh, people have unprecedented choice about where they want to live and work. And with a very tight competition for talent among businesses and communities, uh, this report talks about what the young talent is looking for from communities and talks about what communities are doing to attract and retain these younger workers. That's incredible. Where can people find um, the latest research paper and other papers? Sure. All of uh, EDRP's research papers are located at iedconline.org slash EDRP dash research. That's wonderful. Well, we'll be able to see you and catch up with you at the next EDRP retreat that's coming up in Minneapolis in July. Um, and I know that the the retreat will sort of mark the end of an era. You're you're moving on to some some amazing next steps. Uh, maybe uh, maybe tell everybody what your next steps are. Sure. Um, yeah, very excited about the retreat. We'll be choosing the research plan for the coming year and doing some strategic planning for EDRP itself. Um, but I'm actually going to be uh, leaving uh, IEDC in July. I'm going to go back to graduate school for a master's degree in clinical mental health counseling. So I'm moving from helping people at the community level to helping at the personal level and looking forward to it. Well, thank you. And you're going to be exceptional at everything that you do, um, just having worked with you. Louise, thank you so much. I hope you get to enjoy some smart food today. I'm definitely going to open it and share it with the office. Um, and I look forward to seeing you in Minneapolis. Have a great day. Great. Great. Thanks so much. You too, Janine. Thank you.